Is it legal to bypass voltage limiters on ceiling fans? Hello. My name is Kevin and I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. My goal is to exceed your expectations on just answer. 1. The altering or tampering of any electrical slash electronic consumer product that has been tested, listed and labeled by an independent testing laboratory such as Underwriters Lab, UL, or ETL will void the manufacturing listing and rating of the product. 2. Altering such consumer products that have been listed and labeled by an independent testing agency is also a violation of the National Electrical Code, NEC. Hope this helps. If you have any additional questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them for you. So that means if I have flashing lights, which I do, I need to replace the limiter and not removed it, correct? That is to comply with code. 1. Most ceiling fan manufacturers are installing a wattage limiter in the ceiling fan for the light kit portion. Obviously this is so they can comply with the Energy Conservation Act by limiting the wattage of light bulbs and the types of bulbs that are used. Their light kits are rated to a specific type of bulb, whether it be incandescent or CFL or LED. Exceeding the wattage rating and our types of bulbs used can always result in a potential safety hazard within the light kit. 2. If you have flickering and or dimming of light bulbs, there are many possibilities as to the cause of this problem. Typically, a flickering light bulb is an indication of a loose or faulty neutral connection. Although, if the fan has a remote controlled receiver, that can always be faulty. Light bulbs screwed in too tight or too loose into the socket can also cause flickering. Voltage drops due to a long distance from the main electrical panel can also attribute to flickering, but this is not that common within the average home. The use of non-dimmable light bulbs used with a wall switch dimmer can cause flickering. Excessive light bulb wattage that exceeds a wall dimmer switch wattage rating can also cause this. A loose or faulty connection within the fan wiring harness or internal to the light kit fixture can also cause a flickering effect. As you can see, there are many possibilities. Although, the loose neutral connection or splice is a very common cause. 3. To comply with the NEC, products that have been listed by an independent testing lab are not meant to be altered as it voids its listing and rating of the product and may result in a potential safety issue. Thus the main reason for UL listing or any other testing lab. I have checked everything you discussed in your second reply. The only thing left is a faulty limiter. Can I replace it and remain within code? 1. Yes Bob. Replacing the limiter in order to isolate the problem is always a good option. My only point was that bypassing the limiter can cause a potential safety issue and voids the UL safety listing. Replacing a faulty limiter is certainly acceptable in his code complaint. 2. I am not aware of any of the big box home improvement stores such as Home Depot or Lowe's that sells the limiter. At least I have not seen them in my local stores. I assume the reason why these stores do not sell these is that the limiters can widely vary by fan manufacturer. 3. Shown below is a link for a company that sells replacement limiters. Give them a phone call and provide them with your fan manufacturer name and model number and I'm sure they can provide you with the correct replacement. HTTP colon slash www.ceilingfanremotecontrols.com slash fan underscore limiter underscore dot html. Hello again, Bob. Thank you for the excellent service rating. Much appreciated. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great evening. Thanks. Kevin. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.